Running runner to the right of Carr. And a quick throw to an impressive first-year player. That's Devontae Adams, who had seven catches in Fresno's first game last week. As we look at the insurance starting lineup. That's the five up front. It'll get tested, especially against the Deion Jordan talent. And Rouse, along with Adams, we mentioned Adams from uh, California, for the seven receptions last week. This season as a national, one of two packed schools as a national contender, fake punt, and it's going to work. Well, Fresno State with a shock to start. Well, what a gutsy call by Tim DeRuiter to start the game off in his own territory. Watch the punter right here. He just takes the ball. Andrew Shapiro, nobody on the right side of the Oregon defense. Everybody was fooled and a great chance. Keep the drive alive, change the field position. Fake the run, nice slant. And sneaking behind was Josh Harper, and it'll be first and goal for Fresno. Your player from Turlock, California. And Brashears nails it. All right, so that's important. Fresno State put a lot on that first possession, and they get three. So now, take a quick break, and then Oregon goes to work. And averaging only 14 yards a play. And Fresno going to track down. There's good pursuit on the defense, and that's one of the men, Donovan Lewis. And in a 3-4, when you switch, there's always a guy like this, Lewis, who was playing with his hand down. Now he's playing up. And he's really climbed the chart as camp has went on. You mentioned you know, converting from defensive end. Seahawk Stadium. Barter, ooh, and there's nice penetration by Jennings, Andy Jennings. Off the defensive side for Fresno, that'll make it third down. Yogi Rota changing on second down. Oh, right in his face, and did they get the face mask? No flag coming down. And again, that's the same man, Tristan Opalaugo. In the tackle box. He's a senior from Livermore, California, in the Bay Area. Right. Oh, yeah, got him by the shoulder pad. Right off of the edge, that was, Mariota was trying to get the ball out hot to Kenyon Barner. Andy Jennings has a chance to bring him down. And this time Thomas can't get outside. Well, this, that young man's getting active here for Fresno State, Tristan Opalaugo. Well, he's got that size that a lot of people look for in these 3-4 defenses, doesn't he, Adam? And he does a good job keeping the edge out there. When we talked to Nick Toth, the defensive coordinator, he said Oregon attacks the edges. They attack the perimeter in the run. And Shapiro had the well-executed fake punt run for a first down on that drive. Oh, he gets a good bounce there, and that one, we've got to pin Oregon back. They'll run again this time, Fresno State's front stops. Tyler Davison. Some help from Kylie, Kyrie Wilson. There's Wilson. And Bakersfield. So now Oregon has third down. Comes back to Adams again. And Adams going to run it out of bounds just across midfield. Devontae Adams from Palo Alto, California, went to high school right across the street from Stanford Stadium. Oregon really spreading that defensive front. And Robbie Rouse made a nice move inside, and he's going to get a first down out of this, and that'll give Fresno time to get to the line. A weak spot last year in a 4-9 season. Now they have a chance to try and score before the half. And this will get them at least into field goal range as Devontae Adams takes it to the 26. And man, a couple of Super Bowls, that's not bad. 43 yards here by Quentin Brashears. Well, that's a nice note for Fresno State. Arizona, a big night game tonight. Also Duke at Stanford. 
So Oregon running the ball, and Barner was out of bounds before the ball came free. Yogi Roth? Yeah, it's so important that Marcus Mariota is getting these game snaps at quarterback. There's nothing like live action. I'm talking about changing protections, re-identifying the middle linebacker, all the little things that he has to do to run this offense. And you can't always get those reps simulated in practice. So this is great reps for him right now. Now play fake here, he's dragged, and the ball punched away. And covered by Fresno State. Well, there's a learning experience because Sean Plummer, veteran linebacker for Fresno, wrapped up Mariota, but before he threw him to the ground, he punched, literally punches the ball out of him. Great heads up play by Sean Plummer, and Mariota almost gets away from him. But you see, as he's wrapping it, he has the awareness with the right arm to go in there, punch the ball out. That's a great job of securing the tackle and then trying to make something happen. That's a big play, something that this defense desperately needed. And it's caught. Well, Carr threw it up there, and Isaiah Burse. Ran it down, near corner, touchdown Fresno State. And Carr took a big time pop. And yeah, he took a big hit from Kiko Alonso. Well, great job of Derek Carr. Watch Alonso coming right up the middle. And it didn't look like much, but he puts that ball right in there. Excellent coverage from the Oregon Ducks. And so far, you take a look at this Fresno State football team. They come out. They came out strong on defense, held Oregon, and now offensively, you're able to take the ball down the field and get a touchdown. Well, another Pac-12 school. They'll have Colorado playing them next week in Fresno. Oh, another loose ball, and that's Fresno State's. Well, the same kind of plays that have worked so well for Oregon, just quick smoke passes to guys with speed in space. But it's a second Fresno State takeaway. Nick talk, talked about getting that mojo. The defenses that take the ball away have something about them. And when you're flying around to the ball, you're physical. And a word that he liked to use called population, that means as many guys to the football as possible. Well, Brashears from 25 yards out kicks it through, but that Number of plays are dead even, 60 apiece. Addison will run this out from five yards. And again, Fresno covers the kick well, and Addison once again can't get to the 20. In fact, he didn't get to the 15. Mariota going to keep? No, tripped up. Couldn't get out, and there's Oapalugo again. Oh, and Rouse, that's one of the few times he's been able to get, really get past the line of scrimmage. And he bursts it out to the 40-yard line. Oh, and Mariota, the ball's free, and Fresno has it. Mariota took a huge blast. Philip Thomas. And jarred the ball free, and Fresno State has forced its third fumble of the second half. Well, last week, there was a blitz or two that Mariota did not recognize. And right there, Philip Thomas, who has been such a huge addition this year on this defense, out of being after being out all year last year, comes in, blasts Mariota, and another forced turnover and a big play for the defense this week making it look so easy for so long Devontae Adams and he's got a first down to the 37 on his eighth catch you're missing a, a senior receiver Rashad Evans big part of Fresno State's offense he is ineligible declared by the NCAA for this game and two more so without as much depth in the wide receiver core, Adams and Burse have been the main targets for Carr today. Nice counter play. They ran this earlier. 
and Robbie Rouse runs it big time. Inside the Oregon 40. In the red zone. And Brashear's kick is good. Did he call the bank? He'll take it. That's his third made field goal today. And Oregon's lead, 35 to 19. Not going to like. And they get a second one easily there by Rouse. With 90 seconds to play. So Robbie Rouse's first rushing touchdown today, 115 yards. Well, as you take a look at that last drive, I think the offensive line for Fresno State really handled Oregon.